Hi, welcome to Align Therapy. I'm Dave Butler, and today we're going to talk about mild scoliosis and how to how to identify it, and how to. Uh, we're also going to go into some treatment, not in this video, but in a, a, the next video that we do. So I'm here with Dion. Dion is my wife, and we found out. When did we find out that you had scoliosis? Or you? You've always known, maybe. I found out before we got married. I worked for a PT clinic. So she's working for a PT clinic. Someone told her she had scoliosis. We were married for probably 12 years before I really started to specialize in scoliosis. And then I realized she actually does have scoliosis because sometimes you're told you have scoliosis and you don't, or you're told you have a mild curve and you have a bigger curve than a mild curve. So in Dion's case, she actually had um, she actually has a mild curve, so I want to show you how to identify that and the things to look for with that. Because if you've been told you have scoliosis and it's a mild curve, you may not even notice what's going on. Pediatricians uh, often will miss mild scoliosis, so let's show you what to look for. So first of all, I'll have them stand up. So do you want to stand up? So you're going to stand right here, put your hair to the front, and go ahead and touch your toes. So what you're looking for, come up just a little bit. So we want to be able to see right along the spine. And we're looking to see if one side is higher than the other. Here in the thoracic spine or down in the lumbar spine. So here in the thoracic spine, she has a little bit higher uh, prominence here than here. So go ahead and stand back up. Um, Sometimes I'll have them do this sitting so that you can see that without looking at a uh, leg length difference. Let's actually look at that. So if we have you sit on this stool. So then the leg length doesn't influence this because they're not standing on both legs. So go ahead and arms between your knees and bend forward. A little bit further. So then we're looking to see if one side is higher than the other again. and this right side is a little bit higher than the left side, which indicates that that's rotated this way, which means we have a scoliosis curve that goes to the right. Go ahead and come back up. So then go ahead and stand up. And if we look at another thing that, that can tell us that Dion has scoliosis is her shoulder blades. So it's a little hard with the sports bra she has on, but if we look at the shoulder blades, we see a little bit of a difference. It might be hard on the video to see this, but this shoulder blade sits a little bit different than this shoulder blade. And so this shoulder blade kind of pokes out a little bit more here at the base than the other side. And that's because this side is rotated backward and this side is rotated forward a little bit. Sometimes, and this isn't Dion's case, but sometimes with the right thoracic curve, you'll see the shoulders are a little bit uneven as well but we're not seeing that in her. And if we have a lower curve, we'll see a, a difference in the waistline, which we're not seeing with Dion either. So just a, a way that you can look for mild scoliosis and, <laughs> um, and it's easy to see when you know what you're looking for, but you have to be pretty specific and intentional about looking at for that rotation. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please put that in the comments below. Look for other videos that we're going to be doing about treatment. I'm going to show a manual therapy treatment called A-STEM on Dion. And she does have pain in that area of her scoliosis curve. And so that's something that we need to know where the scoliosis curve is as we, as we do manual therapy with it. So hopefully it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're hearing and seeing. And we'll talk to you next time.